It's a prize, guys. Super excited, man. Trust me. It's a Thursday edition. And uh, from those songs, I'm sure you have an idea what our guest is today, right? You're on the Jeff Lunch. The king is in the building. The king is in the building. It's not every day that you get to have this opportunity to have the king in the building. How are you doing? I'm all right. How are you, my brother? I'm all right. How have you been? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm chilling. Mm. How's things? Things are okay. We're trying. We're here, man. Yeah. We're here. It's, it's, it's like something that I'm, I'm, I was super looking forward to, to be honest with you. Appreciate and uh, it's one of the things that we started talking about this interview for a while now. Yeah, last year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On your side, let's start with uh, maybe basically your this year, 2022. How would you describe it from your side? 2022 has been amazing. It's been awesome. It's been a, uh, great so far, man. Mm. Um, I think it's been the year of making music. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, last year was the year of other things, personal stuff. This year has been more about music. I call it back to the music year. Mm. Yeah. Is, is, is there anything that maybe uh, you feel like this year so far, things that you were planning on working on uh, maybe last year, 2021, now mm. 2022, are working to your advantage? Definitely. Uh, a lot of things are fall, falling in place uh, because it takes time to build, you know, great things. And just like that, we've been building an album in the background. We've been working on, uh, you know, changing the brand. We've also just been build, working on building the XYZ brand uh, again. So a lot of things are falling into place. Yeah. I, I wouldn't even complain, man. Mm -hmm. God, God's been good to us. What do you to do with uh, mental health? Yeah, for me, mental health is um, um, it's a, it's just big as, you know, physical health. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because your, your mental is what drives you. Mm -hmm. It's what gives you the focus. It, what, it gives you the... the, the 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 dream what are you doing without your brains your mental stability you are not able to achieve you know what i mean even just a simple day so for me mental health is just as big as you know your physical health and why i say that is uh, i've experienced it before i've been a victim of depression you know i've been depressed before so i know how it feels and especially in a country where mental health is not taken seriously it's a it's a big deal you know we're living in an era of social media what social media brings is mostly depression um uh, it brings about uh, jealousy, it brings about hatred, it brings about uh, trolling. So all those things, uh, if not handled well, can backfire. How, 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 sorry to cut you, but how yeah. did you deal with uh, when you were going through depression? So I think the first rule with depression is you need to identify that I am depressed and accept it. You know, the minute you start denying that you're not, you know, depression will be identified in, you know, substance or alcohol abuse. Um, it could be, it could be you abusing any, any, any kind of drug, you know, or alcohol. Um, also just, you know, the symptoms like loss of sleep. For me, I had to accept that I'm depressed. You know, I'm going through depression and how am I going to handle it? I need to first be willing to take the first step, change. It's not an easy thing, I'll tell you the truth. It's not a very easy thing. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I sat down with different people. Mm -hmm. And the other sad thing is that we don't have people to sit down with in this country, you mm -hmm. know, to tell you, guide you when you're depressed, or to even identify that you're depressed. Instead, they'll bully you, you know, they'll push you around. You know, bullying could be at any age. They'll, they'll tell you, you when I wake, I stay. It could be your own, you know, family, it could be your peers could be anyone mm -hmm. so depression is real and mental health for me means a lot mm -hmm. uh, because i've been a victim of uh, uh, mental health um, instability mm -hmm. so yeah still having a conversation with the king in the building right mm -hmm. here on the jeff lanzo jeff film uh i know people can't wait to get to find out more about uh, <laughs> what you've been up to as well yeah. uh, but before that let me play you one of the songs yeah. that i've been playing okay ever since you dropped mother tongue mm. and i feel like this is one of my favorite records well, yeah. uh, i'm sure it's also your favorite record can't let's wait do let's, can't do wait. let's do this let's do this xyz entertainment Wapita mufingi na banobi Balangishe behave ya kale kale Mureka baku ingiri le bambu Wakae Bingi manta Batale Eta na koke netu kakane Kukuma zina vya au baka chelu Shata la monako eno sayo matelu Having a 
conversation with uh, Slap D right here on the Jeff Lounge, just in case you just locked on and uh, still getting find out about a uh, few things uh, from him right here this year, 2022, just in case uh, you just join us right there. I, I don't know. Maybe you can react to my to my to, to the song that I picked. <laughs> you know what? Maybe you can react to it. I was telling you just now that this is the, like, for us, this is the for sheezy of this era. You yeah. know what I mean? It, it, this song is like a, a banger for hip-hop heads. It always bangs. Whenever mm. we're doing a hip-hop show, hip-hop concert, this is actually one of our favorite entry songs. A quick one. Yeah. When you're writing a song, mm. okay, do you have, like, everything figured out before you, you're, you're, you're done for writing the song? No, not really. Never, actually. I never, ever. I have the idea. I have the concept, but I never have everything, you know, figured out. I, it just comes up. Mm. It just starts coming. <laughs> I don't know how, how yeah. you know, how God does it. Yeah. I don't want to take the credit, yeah. but I feel like, you know, it's a, it's a good thing, you know, yeah. how we, we write music. I also don't, I can't explain. Mm -hmm. The other thing I'd like to find out from you right here as well is uh, issues to do with uh, criticism, issues to do with uh, negativity, yeah. uh, negative vibes. How, how do you deal with it? How do you react? Well, before I I would be, you know, uh, like I said, depressed, upset, or damaged, you know. Uh, that really, what most people don't know is that really messes with your head. Regardless of how you, you take it, there's a percentage of it that messes up your, your well-being, you know, your mental stability. So, um, you sort of, as you... You know, grow in the industry, in the mm -hmm. game, you learn how to shield yourself from such. It's either you stay away from social media, you stay away from... Look, criticism could be bad, but it's building, you know, what most people call positive criticism. I, I, I listen to what somebody's saying and try and pick out the sense. If there's no sense... I just throw it away in a trash can somewhere in my head. Mm -hmm. If there's sense, um, but it's still rude, I tell myself to erase the rude part of it and just pick out the important, the sense that's in it. So for me, criticism, it could be, you know, very bad criticism. Um, it's not my job to cry over that. It's it's it's. Some people just are negative because they have a, b a bad lifestyle. How about stories that you know that uh, someone writes a story about you? Yeah. Some, some some stories that you you know that is not true. Uh, Every, some bloggers will yeah, write stories yeah, about you. Yeah, you even know, even yeah, your team know that yeah, yeah. it's not true. I mean, look like. Every day somebody writes a false story about me. Like in the last 10 years, there's been stories about, it's either a tweet, it might not necessarily be a story, mm. it could be a false tweet, you know, it could be a fake uh, appearance somewhere. So you get, you get used to that. The only problem is when some people start to believe that. You know, one of the most uh, fake things that I've ever been accused of was saying, fans don't put food on my table. Mm. <laughs> to date, there are people that believe that, you know, I said something like that. I've never, not even, and I've asked a lot of people who pose this question to go back and check out my Facebook, whatever. Even if it was deleted, they should but, but, be but, but, but sometimes, don't you feel like you just want to address your fans? Because, like you said, yeah. people, some people believe that. Yeah. Not until you, you have mentioned it right now. I do, but then you can't address everything, you know. It's not all the time you need to address. You can't bark at every moving car. That's like... It's not necessary. You know, I'm in the music industry. My job is to entertain. My job is to put out good music. You know, my job is to give somebody a feeling of ecstasy. So if if, if I start responding to that, I will then be a PR person. I should have then been a PR person, but I'm not. You know, my job is to make music. Music must answer all the gibberish that whoever is talking about at the time. Mm -hmm. um, but also, we like to focus on negative things. When you focus on negativity, it chases you. I like to focus on positive things. The reason I like to focus on positive things is because you attract what you focus on. Mm -hmm. So there's many people that are positive in my life that say good things about me. Why should I focus on the very few who say bad things about me? Mm -hmm. You know, that means I have a problem as well. My idea is just focus on the positive, the negative will fall out on its own. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing that's been trending for the past few uh, days is uh, some of the great yeah. uh, making us proud yeah, for definitely. that uh, soundtrack uh, trailer mm -hmm. that features uh, for uh, a song as well right there. Yeah. Uh, maybe maybe I would like to get your opinion. Sure. What you think 
think of somebody great? I think she's a great artist. She's hip hop in herself. She's um she's I love the way she moves, you know. She doesn't move anyhow. You know, she's very strategic with how she moves, when, where. Um, I don't care if people say now, nah, but she's got this and this being set up for her. It's about, you know, you have to have control at a certain level, you know what I mean? Which I think she does. So for me, it's how she moves. Hip is not the easiest, you know, genre to sell right now in Africa. I'll tell you, there's a few countries that are repping hip hop. In, in Africa right now, but she's doing so well. That's because she's moving different. And for me, very admirable. And um, she, she's keeping away from negativity. I, I, you know, you always see people trying to poke it here and there, but mm -hmm. she's, she's keeping away, which is also like a very smart thing mm -hmm. for her to do. So it's it's kudos, big up. Mm -hmm. I'm inspired. Yeah. yeah. I'm happy that uh, you guys are now more using of uh, XYZ page. Yeah. Uh, example, Yapa, uh, Yapa Zambia. Because uh, I, I, this interview was posted on that page. Oh, yeah. And I uh, would like to find out how is it going. And uh, maybe you can just give us some some few information that we need yeah. to know. Uh, maybe your fans need to be up to date in regards with XYZ. Yeah, so everybody knows we're rebuilding the XYZ. Um, as a brand, as a business, as a record label, as everything. We're rebuilding, and um, the best way to rebuild, obviously, is to um, um, we're rebranding and rebuilding. But the best way to rebrand and rebuild is obviously change a few things. So you've probably seen the changes that we've made in terms of our our card. We've got new artists on the on the team. Mm -hmm. uh, there's Kim. Uh, there's a new kid that will announce very soon. His name is Zane. Uh, many more announcements are coming on. We've brought back Alicia Long. DJ Riz is back with the team. So it's it's, it's this is going to be a very exciting um, end of the year, and also a very exciting 2023 a lot of changes uh the guys as i speak are working very very hard miles has been having sleepless nights mm -hmm. you know in the studio just try to get music on point so mm -hmm. we're working and we're, we're pushing not only the music side but also uh we're focusing on our fan base you know we've got i must boast about this we've got the most loyal fan base i think oh, yeah in the z to be honest you have diehard fans you know what i mean we may not have the most but we have the most loyal fan base and we like to take advantage of that how by you know making our fans uh, assuring our fans of good music and listening to what they exactly they want us they prob probably kind of don't know this but they manage us to some extent you know how people defend you you are not there some people for street <laughs> when they were talking about slap d negative <laughs> you know what I mean? that's, that's love bro and yeah. i see that uh, you know, a lot of people say, you don't know how long I've been holding you down. I'm like, I see that, guys, and I appreciate it. I don't know, where is the camera? I really need to look into a camera. Yeah. Right guys, I see that, yeah. and I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Yeah. It means so, so much. By the way, just in case you're locked on right now, also mm -hmm. live on uh, Prime Television Zambia. You can go on uh, that social media platform as well and uh, share with us uh, any yeah. question that you'd like to find out right there as well. Share with us right there. So I'm still on XYZ. Yeah. From there. Who do you think from you, you? You said you are rebuilding. Yeah. So from the team that yeah. you're rebuilding, who do you think is gonna be the next big artist? The next big artist. Um, I really wouldn't say that. I wouldn't. It would be. I wouldn't put a name to that. But um, it's whoever is gonna work the hardest. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, life rewards you by how you how, how hard or how smart you work. So whoever works the hardest or the smartest will get the shine first. Mm. Otherwise, I think this is a very competitive roster. Um, these guys are making, like, I'd really love for you to come to the studio and just listen to how, what vibes we're building right is now. Is this like an official inv inv yeah, invitation from the I'm king? Yeah, I'm telling you right now. It's a public <laughs> one, actually. Okay. I'm telling you right now so I can't back off one day and say, I know, you know what I... These guys are making absolutely good music, sweet music. So you need to check 
check it out. I can't really explain what's going on in the studio. You have to listen to it for yourself. And then come back and tell everybody, every one of your listeners, what you what you went through. It's, it's life-changing music. So it's whoever's going to work the smartest and the hardest. There's a rumor that's going on right there, uh, uh, um, uh, out of this conversation, uh, that uh, Rough Kid is back with XYZ on social media. Okay. Uh, if you want, you can comment about it. If you like, yeah. you can comment about it. But I, I've just seen it as a breaking story just a few minutes ago. Oh, yeah. Uh, that he's back with XYZ. Maybe in those regards, is there any names that maybe you can mention, name drop, that yeah. are current right now with you in XYZ? Well, um, a few announced, a few not yet. Um, but um, I'll tell you one thing. Ruff, <laughs> Ruff is, what, is, is an XYZ diehard. You know, he he's, he's my brother. He's one of those that, you know, he will go his way, come back. Go his way, come back. Officially, obviously, I don't, I haven't heard of anything <laughs> official from the team. But maybe, I don't know, maybe while we were driving here, mm. they, they signed something somewhere, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, all I'm saying is, he's my brother for life, whether whether on the team or not. Ruff will forever be my brother and forever be XYZ to me. The, this is a conversation I had the other day with someone on radio who we were talking about it and who we were saying sometimes <laughs> social media might mislead you yeah. thinking that people don't listen to Zambe music yeah. and I remember how you came on stage yeah. and how you brought Did out, you come, out, out artists I, I, I was there oh, just perfect, there just perfect. observing okay. we observe but we don't <laughs> post about it because we want to talk about facts okay. and this is where I want to talk about it because you know how social exactly. media yes. will make people it's believe easy, saying yeah. yo maybe it's like D and I see that maybe it's not happening <laughs> this is me telling you right now okay. and <laughs> what I saw at that event yeah. was really different when you came on stage yeah. The love from your fans. <laughs> it was mad. I appreciate that, brother. I really appreciate that. I do. Uh, Oktoberfest is it's a it's a, it was a it was a highlight of the year for us as well, you know. Um, we really wanted to do something different. Um, the band was in it. Everyone that came out in my set was really was put their all into that performance. So yeah, I know people people always talk. Like I said before, I really don't like to listen to the negative things people say. I've heard people say in Satanists, you know, I've heard whole pastors in churches preach about a whole sermon, slap these these demonic because of this you see, if you don't, if you're not, I'm not, I'm not sudden, I'm not evil, so I'm not, I wish, I shouldn't be worried about that, mm -hmm. you know. So for me, it's statements like that, oh, and I see that, whoa, 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 it's very, very normal to me, um, and I like to prove it, prove my critics wrong by putting out either good music, solid performances like what you're talking about mm -hmm. now. Just to sheesh, sheesh, sir. <laughs> They'll always be naysayers. Mm -hmm. Even after that performance, they're going to say, ah, nah, but it was because, uh, let's take him to another stage. And it will still, we'll still shut down. Yeah. <laughs> let's get to find out from the people what they have to say right now. Let's get to hear from you. So if uh, you have any questions that would like to find out from Slap D, call us up. We won't get to hear from you right here on right Joy here. FM. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon, boss. Boss, Moliche. Bueno, bueno. It's coming up and down. My life, but joy, man. Uh, but Austin, you know, King Diesel. But King. <laughs> What's good in that body? Muliche, muliche, douche, mul douche. Yeah, very rough, very rough, very rough, Yes. And the, uh, with this guy, the, the producer here, Mouse. Ma Mouse. Mm -hmm. You said that he's having a sleepless night uh, when it comes to music production. So I was thinking, uh, what about the star she? Uh, where is he? Is he around? Oh, <laughs> okay. 
So go support that song. Go support that song. So one more call right here on Joy FM, then uh, Slab gets to, uh, to respond. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. Ati Bwanji, boss. What is it? Lakka. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> 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 So maybe maybe we can start with uh, the first call. Um, you yeah. was trying to find out about Mr. Stash. Oh, about Stash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so um, every few years we change producers. Uh, not that we kick out those. Like I said, if you join the ex, man, you're family for life. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't care what the, the media will say about our wrangles or what. It's it's behind the scenes. We really, really just love each other. We're one big family. And you see, the reason we came up with XYZ is to build each other, not to fight each other. You know, build the next guy to build the next guy. Build the next guy so he builds the next guy. So, Stash, as far as I'm concerned, has done a lot. He just won uh, Kwacha, Kwacha Music Awards Producer of the Year, yeah. which is the fourth, fourth time in a row. Mm-hmm. He's fourth time in a row, which is very, very huge. Mm-hmm. So Stash is still very, very around. 
Uh, but also in the process, we're trying to build new producers. Uh, it's not just Miles came along that's available, that's working. Um, there's also Wheat Beats. Um, there's, um, what's his name? Keldrin. Keldrin is another young producer. These are, I'm talking about producers who have been working back to back with C Mark. Uh, there's a bunch of them. So we are not, when, when I say Miles came along, um, I just mean it's his turn now to, as the main producer. You know, Stash is always there. Check out any XYZ album or any XYZ artist music. Stash will always handle it. And besides, you know, this music, they work hand in hand. You know, sometimes Stash will say, I don't, can you build a drum pattern for me? And Miles will do it. And sometimes Miles will say, can you make the bass line heavier for me? So it's, it's, we coexist like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Stash is around. Um, so is everyone, every other producer. Mm. Yeah. Let's talk about the big song. Bola Iwawa, your, your brand new song yeah. is out. And uh, I was going through some comments on social media. People were complaining, saying, Can you book a figure money? You are slap dia. But maybe, maybe give us information. Yeah. Maybe we are getting the story different. You know how different people will relate to a different song, yeah. how they feel at a certain exactly. point. Exactly. Maybe, maybe in, in, when you were writing this song, uh, what story were you trying to put across? Um, it was actually more to do with. Um, love issues, issues to matters of the heart, more than soccer, you know. Uh, but then I was, I was in the studio with Miles this night, this one night, and we didn't, I absolutely didn't have the concept. I was blank, I was blocked. So he was just playing beats, you know, one of those were on your phone, and it was just me and him the whole entire night. So he kept playing me beats, and he came. When he played this particular beat, I was looking at a Facebook post by my brother Toaster, mm -hmm. and it said, Bola Ivava. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He had posted some, I think it was post a match, a soccer match or something. He was just like, Bola Ivava. For me, that was like, okay. I was like, play. And then I just started, no, no, feel like I'm a Kimbo. You know, and we started building from there. Then we added the Bola Ivava. You know, we didn't have the Vamala Vupai, we came up with something, actually did the singing, it wasn't good enough, we needed another, you know, harmonizer to come in, I called my manager right away, I said, Emmanuel, where are you? Oh, no, God. It was one in the morning. So we're like, we need, you know, I think I'm like, what, what time is it? Uh, 20, around midnight. Mm -hmm. Ah, we need a singer to come and do some backing vocals, I can't do the backing vocals. I said, okay, let me call somebody, called a guy called Omi, who came through in 30 minutes, you know, and he, he's actually the guy doing, nah, 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 nah. okay. Yeah, so the guy did that, the, the backing vocals. And then we just had a bang. We knew we had a good song that night. Well, you know, you know, you can tell when it's, it's like, wow, we've got a good song. So we started playing it the whole night, did a first mix, I did my verse. Um, when I was about to do my second verse, Miles was like, uh-uh, don't do another verse. So I looked at him and I was like, why? He's like, the song is already 2 minutes, 30 something seconds, don't do another verse. I'm like, why? He's just like, no, it's too long, it's gonna be 4 minutes something. Nobody's playing such music anymore, let's be honest, in a club, Nobody's playing a four-minute song. Yeah. Algorithms on 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 on, so, on social media on as as long as the song is past three minutes or two minutes something they they cut it. Mm -hmm. So anyway, he didn't explain all that. We just sort of went back and forth, and I was like, okay, let's leave it. I'll listen to it, and then I'll figure out something. Mm. So we played it, played it, played it, played it, played it, and I sort of agreed with him. Yeah, it, one verse is fine. And then we we'll extend it as we go <laughs> when yeah. the song is up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's how we got a you know a two minutes thirty second, thirty thirty six second song. Let's get to play the song before we get to find out uh, maybe uh, after this what do we expect. <laughs> So 
few more minutes to go before we get to uh, wrap up with uh, today's edition right here with uh, Slav D. Uh, but before we get to uh, end this conversation, uh, I would also like to find out my upcoming artist. I following social media. I king. You know how, like I said from the start of the interview, that you inspire a lot of youths out there. And uh, maybe a quick one that they should expect in the industry as they are trying to venture into the music. Uh, first thing, it's not for the week. <laughs> That's the first thing. It's yeah. not for the week, you know. Reason we have more uh, um, guys and girls in the industry is not because, because you know how women are very emotionally, uh, I don't want to be quoted, but emotionally um, weaker than guys. Mm -hmm. uh, um, yeah, so for the industry, it's, it's, it takes a lot of... Uh, you really need to be thick-skinned. You know what I mean? You need to be thick-skinned. You need to be focused. I started making music in 2006. In fact, way before, like a few years before. I only started making money around 2012. You know, like real money. Before, I had no car. Can I imagine? Look at that space. That was years. These days, things have kind of changed. Now there's social media. Before there was no social media. So to get a song to the radio, you have to walk or whatever you're using, bus, your own transport, to get there and deliver a CD. Now that CD, once it go, you got there with the CD, it didn't guarantee airplay. It, need to get, it needed to get in the right hands, you know, to the right person. If it got to the wrong person, it would just be stashed away. Monitoring, following up, even if it go to the right hand, yeah. you would need to monitor, to find out, to check if your music is actually playing. So now you see that hustle? Mm -hmm. That's different these days. It's been cut out. You can actually put out music without the help of a DJ, the right hands. The right hands are your fans and yourself. So I can't really teach somebody how to be a me, but I can teach you or advise you rather, not even teach you. I can advise you on how you know to to stay relevant is be disciplined stay focused and be humble the last one i had to learn the hard way and i mean i burnt a lot of bridges coming up and that costed me in my young career you know i was the type that felt oh i had discovered oh i have discovered oh i know about this and didn't you know know how to hold a decent conversation for me, everyone was an op in my eyes because of the way I came up. You know, there was very little help. So when I came up, I felt like everyone around me was an op, which is not actually the case. And hip hop back in the day was it was a very competitive. You needed to be a thugged out, yeah. sort of a thug, like even in real life, not just the music. You needed to be thugged out because you know you'd make music and people would see you as oh, so you can you can fight. You walk in a bar in a place, it's like, let's fight him. Let's see if he's really gangster, as he says on his music. Mm -hmm. That was hip-hop. These days, hip-hop is just being able to move words, being able to tell a good story. So, um, yeah, just do what you got to do. Stay focused, be humble, be disciplined. Those are the three key things for me. You know, those helped me. Uh, stay afloat and you know still be here doing an interview with one of the best DJs in Zambia you know what I mean for sure lastly uh, Bola Iwawa is out yeah what next uh, besides Bola Iwawa there's a lot of music you know lots of music to come um, there's actually an album coming so wow um, unlike my brother Maggie too I'm not <laughs> <laughs> I'm not hanging the mic anytime soon. You are soon. still there. Yeah, I'm still making it. <laughs> Until God says, you know what? Yeah, it's time to rest, Chief. Otherwise, you, it's a passion. I love music. You yeah. know? I don't think I'll ever hang up the mic until as long as I'm breathing or I'm able to make music. Even if it's not actual mic, but like be behind the music or be somewhere in the music industry. Uh, for me, music is a, is a rescue. Remember when I said I was depressed at some point? Yeah. Um, it was music that saved me. Um, there's been times when I've been broke, it was music that saved me. There have been times when I was lonely, it was music that saved me, you know. So for me, music is not just a tool. 
to make money or to feel it's a it's a mood it gives me a mood helps me think proper it advises me i listen to music certain types of music for answers so i don't i don't see myself hanging the mic anytime soon and no disrespect to my brother you know it's it's different vibes he he knows why he's doing that and i know and i know i know that he put it out there that i'm, I'm not just gonna be active for me, I'd love to just, you know, make music my whole life. It was great having a conversation with you. <laughs> Aish, man. Aish. I know people right now are calling in and trying to yeah. get in touch with us. Uh, but yeah, I'm super looking forward to the album. Appreciate you, man. Thank yeah. you. I've been really looking forward to this interview, you know. Uh, let me tell you a side, side story. Um, yeah. I've been watching your interviews from afar, from the terraces. And Serious? I've been low-key jealous, man. Okay. I don't know, it sounds funny, huh? <laughs> but I've been looking. <laughs> like, why can't they guys, like, they, these guys, I mean them, like, give me this interview for once, you know? And every time I ask, like, can I do an interview with this guy? Or there's another guy that I'd love to do, a, you know, because of how you guys handle your interviews. They're very different. And they'd always say, like, chill, you need promo to go on. If you go on and not have anything to promote, why are you going? But hey guys, I can still go there and just talk about my music. No, wait, and finally we're here now. Yeah, <laughs> we're marking this on the calendar, 13th of uh, October. Yeah. Slap D came through right here on Salutes, JFM. my brother. Thank you very Salutes. much for coming through me so much right Thank here. Let's so sign much. out yeah. with this uh, brand new song. And this one is uh, Bola Iva, Pamene Panapa Joy FM. I'll be back on radio tomorrow as we get to count down to 20 songs making it on our charts right here. You make me feel like I'm a camera.